Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Deviant Hunting, a web series aimed at showcasing the most creative and amazing artwork from those around the Deviant art community, no matter how long they've been on the site or how popular they are. My name is Nick and for the very first episode of Deviant Hunting, I thought I'd showcase some of the work of the people who watch me and support me on DeviantArt as kind of a way of saying thanks for watching me and supporting me. All users have given me permission to use their content so I very much encourage you to go into the links and check them out and click on their profile, have a look and leave a few comments on their work. The first artwork of the show comes from a user called Kissy san who creates a character called Rita wearing traditional clothing worn during the Earth and Sky Festival. I love the amount of detail and the happiness in Rita's eyes that Kissy san is able to capture. Kissa san is also planning on making a book and a YouTube channel on how to draw anime, so please check him out in the description below. Nick's Vixen and Eliza make awesome feather-like makeup, so check out her profile to see more, and also some photos from her travels. Twilight Wolf was inspired by her Navajo heritage to create this awesome wolf and feather design. The feathers and the colours really blow me away in this drawing. A series of four complex and detailed drawings made by Rohan Alexander. These drawings take a very long time as they're very fine and very detailed. Trust me, I know because I make drawings that are similar to this. So anyone who can create drawings like this too, I have a lot of respect for. A great thing about the DeviantArt community is constant stream of sharing of ideas and styles. Black Anime creates this awesome tribal triforce after seeing another user create another tribal artwork which inspired him. I would definitely like to see Black Anime make a huge version of the tribal triforce. Have you ever been freaked out by the moon? Graham94 captures this moment perfectly with the scary yellow moon. This image really gives me the chills. Blue Moon Angel draws her favourite Vocaloid, Rin Kagamine, capturing some great expression from the character. Ever needed a Pokeball as part of your cosplay? Invisible June has you covered, who makes a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a Pokeball out of some simple objects. Kojo Toman captures the expressions of sadness very damn well in this drawing. However, he forgets what anime this character is from. Does anyone know? Raycole94 creates a yearly summary of her work each year to evaluate her skills and progression of techniques. I think this is a really good idea and more people should be doing it. Co-Phantom creates an abstract Calavera skull as part of the Mexican Day of the Dead holiday. I think co Fountain really nailed the colours in this drawing as they pop out and they're very lively. CFX Kiara creates a 20 foot high, 40 feet long dragoness complete with its own backstory and unique personality. I definitely recommend reading the backstory on this creature on CFX Kiara's page as it's really interesting it's really well put together as well. Jinx Barbie was inspired by one of her favourite deviants to create this really dark, scary and savage drawing made from watercolours which is really striking to the eye. User I Do Art Stuff Here, or I Dash for Shorts, creates a very realistic version of a monarchy with striking red tribals on the face. I Dash makes a lot of great portraits and is also thinking about making a YouTube channel, so check out I Dash's page. Beth's Fine Art creates a real life sculpture of Skaxilla from Borderlands. Judging by the amazing attention to detail, Beth has really spent a lot of time on this sculpture. The last artwork of the show comes from a user called Peace on Earth 888. These digital artworks are simply awesome. The detail is crazy and the colours remind me of summer as they're very vibrant and they seem to pop out of the computer. Peace on Earth 888 creates some very surreal and very professional work and he also has a few YouTube videos so check out the links in the description. Thank you for watching the very first episode of Deviant Hunting. This show is all about getting exposure for the artists and helping them get a bigger audience on DeviantArt. So with that being said, please check out their links in the description. Go to their art pages and leave comments, favourite them or watch them on DeviantArt. Lastly, I have created a group on DeviantArt called Deviant Hunting. You can check the link down in the description. Uh, so please post your own work, join and try and get some more exposure for yourself there too. So please subscribe and leave any suggestions in the comments below. And thanks for watching and have a good day.